The University of Delaware made a strong effort, and students were hoping for an upset. Madeline Wright is on campus in Newark, where high hopes unfortunately turned to heartbreak. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Jessica. Students who gathered for the watch party here at the Perkins Student Center are disappointed with the outcome of the game. They were really hoping that the Blue Hens could come from behind and pull off a victory. <laughs> University of Delaware students cheered and waved pom poms as the Blue Hens made their first appearance in the NCAA tournament since 2014. <laughs> It's so fun. It's such a fun experience. I'm glad I came out with all my friends. Like this is a once in a lifetime like thing since we're all here in college together. The Hens were winning earlier in the game, but their lead against the Villanova Wildcats was short-lived. It's kind of typical for a 15 for a two seed to be a 15 seed. It's it's kind of expected with a team like Villanova, especially a well-coached team like Villanova. Despite the team's loss, students are just grateful they got to see the Hens perform on the national stage. I thought it was very exciting. I thought we pretty much had Villanova in the first half. We were like neck and neck. Unfortunately, I just think that maybe the pressure got to them, and towards the end, we followed it behind. But nonetheless, still super proud, and I'm proud to be a Blue Hen. There's always next year. Students are hoping that the Blue Hens can make the NCAA tournament again and redeem themselves by beating Villanova. Live in Newark, Delaware, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jessica. All right, Madeline, thanks so much. And stay with Eyewitness News throughout the NCAA tournament. You can follow along on our website, cbsphilly.com slash March Madness.